So, I have a problem. I have this nice funnel here, but I need to add some piping along the base. So, how do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. The first thing I'm going to do is select my object, select and move the 3D cursor to that origin, and then I'm going to add in a plane. And just to keep things all nice and organized here, let's move this to a new collection. Let's call it Steam Pipes. That way we can have everything all nice and organized. So I'm going to select my plane. And let's drag it out to where the pipe needs to be and you may be working off blueprints like I am you may not be it's okay and I'm just gonna get this lined up okay now tab into edit mode and you guys can see what I'm typing up here press W to subdivide select this center vertex if I can get out of line selection mode control I to invert X and delete so now you're left with one vertices and before you go any further just for safekeeping move the 3d cursor to there and now what you're going to do is just follow like there that's the pipe that I need to make and I can make it in probably two minutes so I'm just going to extrude move this all the way up to let's say right there and I think that's yeah okay making sure I'm looking at the right one so the easy way that I'm going to do this is just move it to the edge of my object G Y and let's just move it one inch away from the edge and if I'm not mistaken yeah see the bottom of this is curved so the way that I'm going to do this is just add in a vertices, move this down, and then move it to the edge of the funnel, GY1. Okay. And this is a curve right here. We need to do that too. And I'm using Control R to add in these vertices. So let's just move it. To where this is relatively straight and that is relatively straight good deal okay so now up here back to the top and we're going to do this curve now don't worry about adding in too many vertices I'm just gonna add one in for the middle one in for the absolute middle and then another right here so just to show you what this looks like right quick there that's all you have to do don't worry about putting in 15,000 vertices in here because we're going to bevel this in a moment and make it look a lot better and again because this is actually going up against an object I just want to make sure that everything is nice and even being one inch away from my object so bear with me for one moment and I will be right back GY1 okay and now we come and extrude this all the way back down to right here where this curve starts and you guessed it I'm going to come in here move this one inch away and now we can do this little curve and as you can see my blueprints aren't really lining up but that's okay because I have multiple angles so as long as you can get the angle matched up like from here to here there to there everything is actually okay so and this moves down just a tad so and then just extrude it straight down because I need it to go through the floor and there you have the pipe 
So the next thing that we want to do is come into edit mode, select all of your vertices and control shift B. And you'll see that there's a little line now. And if you move your mouse around, you'll see that there, your mesh is acting weird. So what I like to do is just press the shift key and just slowly drag it away from your object. And as you can see, it's adding vertices in along the curve. That's going to smooth it out a little bit. So as soon as you're ready, just hit the enter or your mouse key. And now if we tab out, look how nice and even that looks. Okay. And believe it or not, we're almost pretty much done. I'm going slow just in case anyone is following along. Now, this origin point here, which is that little orange dot, needs to be where the 3D cursor is. So move the 3D cursor to the origin point of this curve. And again, just for prosperity's sake, let's just call this forward pipe curve. And now we're going to come into object and let's add a Bezier circle. Okay. And I want this pipe to be, let's say two inches wide. So that's a radius of one inch. Wait for blender to load. And now you don't really have to do much of anything with this because it is going to be applied to the curve. So come over here. All you have to do is select 2D. It's that simple. Now forward uh, circle. Let's just name it that for now. Come over here. Let me zoom out so you guys can see this and show you just how fast it actually does. Select your path and why is this not showing oh awesome i forgot the most important thing object convert to curve <laughs> leave this on 3d this needs to be 3d and under geometry come down here to the bevel select your forward circle and look at that now, if you notice that it's still a little bit too blocky for your taste, you can come over here, shade smooth, help that out, or you can even come over here and add a subdivision surface modifier. It doesn't really matter. You can actually even come in here and grab this and change the path of the pipe, however you need it to be. But that is how to easily and very quickly add in pipes for blender thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys later